I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska statewide weather on this Sunday, January 15th. Low pressure this afternoon is situated just to the southwest of Kodiak Island near the uh, central portions of the Alaska Peninsula with a occluded front extending eastward out in through the lower southwestern Gulf and North Pacific. Trough lags along the uh, outer Panhandle coast to a, a weaker low down south of Vancouver Island. And then we have another low uh, sitting out through the lower central Bering Sea north of the central Aleutians with a couple of troughs along the southwest coast and up there along the northwest coast where winds continue. Rather windy there, winds could gust as high as uh, 40 to 55 miles an hour overnight into uh, Sunday morning where winter weather advisories are in effect from Wainwright south through Point Lay, Point Hope, down along through uh, Kivalina, north side uh, and west side of the Seward Peninsula, including St. Lawrence Island. Uh, an inch or two of snow could fall along with uh, blowing and drifting snow with visibilities below a half mile. Uh, and then we also have some uh, winter weather advisories for the interior until midnight this Saturday night for the Dalton and Elliott uh, Highway summits. Uh, brisk north through east winds gusting as high as 30 to 35 miles an hour could cause some blowing snow and visibilities below uh, half a mile at times. Well, last night we did have a visible enhanced auroral display. Uh, reported there out of Fairbanks, a number of uh, the people with the Weather Service office in Fairbanks uh, were able to view them. Another thing in the night sky, uh, there is a telescopic comet that may be brightening toward the end of the month in the very beginning of February. Still too early to tell if it will become a naked eye visible comet, but it is something to look for in the northeastern sky right now. It's located between the stars Vega and Arcturus and to the lower left of uh, the Big Dipper. Well, we are gonna be seeing uh, the storm track changing and reorient reorienting itself. So instead of taking aim at California, kind of putting things back up toward the Gulf here, coming up in the week ahead and into next week. And so we're gonna see a more active pattern with moderating temperatures expected, especially across the mainland, along with above normal precipitation then for the latter half of January. For Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Peter Chan.